working out here in western Oklahoma still. This just makes me sad, America, sad. So the sand has drifted. It used to be dirt. It, this field so road is sand. I don't know. X feet deep on that old hedge fence post. We look out here, and it's just blowing sand and sand. And who would want to plant it, right? And here's the story. This has been no deal for a bunch of years, like over a decade. But you got a cover crop, right? There's nothing living. There's no living root out there to hold the dirt in place. So when I mean, you don't have living roots photosynthesizing, pumping the good stuff in the soil, and if the wind blows, you can be left with sand. I mean, you're left with sand. And this is not productive. This doesn't feed America. So no-till is a really important tool. It's not, it's a critical important tool. You, when you disc or something, that's just like a massive tornado going through the soil, killing stuff like crazy. But just no-till, you need a cover crop. You need to follow the principles of soil health. You need something growing year-round. You want a diverse mix. You don't want to disturb the soil. Uh, you need to follow the principles of soil health. And this is an example of only applying one principle, limited soil disturbance, but with nothing growing, no living root to hold the dirt in place, to put microbes in the soil to feed the microbes. This is called desertification. And it's a big word, but a lot of the world, you can Google that and look it up on maps. Unfortunately, a lot of Africa, parts of the United States, that used to be lush. We know from you know aerial images, not satellite images, 50, 60 years ago, it was okay, and now it's a desert. So please, please, let's apply those principles of soil health.